open this baby up. No Hold on. way. Wowzers. <laughs> like right, a kid boy. on Christmas right now. Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my god! All right, you ready to open up your Blaracuda model? Dude, I am. I cannot wait to see what you did. I mean, this thing alone right? is a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is the Squid Runner. Squid Runner. Oh, there's a, your Squid guy up there. <laughs> Sick. He looks angry, huh? That's a beautiful, beautiful masterpiece you have there. He was just running me through all the modifications he made to this puppy. It's a full Frankenstein. This is incredible what he does. He. Oh. Stabilizes this guy, puts makes it makes it so this thing's pretty much unbreakable, and uh, makes it so that he, you can cool the motor and the uh, speed, controller. speed controller, and water is basically flowing through this whole thing while it's running, so that you can do that. It's, it's pretty. Here. It's a masterpiece. It's pretty cool to see. Open this baby up. No. Hold on. Way. I got it. Um. I want to see the action. Face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris. Hey, thank you once again. You're more than welcome, brother. I can't wait to give this thing a rip or two. Uh, wowzers. <laughs> like right, a kid player. on Christmas right now. Open her up. Let's see what we got here. This is the Blaracuda model. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. This is the best thing I've, oh, that is classic. Wow. You epoxy that yarn on there too? <laughs> That's Traffic Master. Right? Getting a lot of people. Dude, this is insane. Look at this thing, all customized. Check the bottom. Oh my, what a legend. The Blaracuda. Dang, dude. Wow. Thank you so much, brother. I, Welcome. This is incredible. Right on. I That's love, really cool. Love the yarn edition. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some lettuce. It's got a little extra lettuce up there. You really outdid yourself on this one, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate that. No, I appreciate you once again. Woo! Uh, this is nice. Amazing. Chris, you're yeah. a legend. Thank you. You, know, you guys want to go RC surfing? Oh, oh boy. Yeah. You got the setup. That's like the. That's you got the full gang over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're nerding this. out big time right now. Yeah, about to get way more tubes than you guys. <laughs> Ripped any of these around yet, or is this the maiden, no, the maiden no, voyage? they're gonna, yeah, this is, we're okay. gonna see what happens. I wonder if the, the hair is gonna absorb some water and make and it make a little it heavy. heavy? Probably, know. we got some scissors, give me a haircut or so. <laughs> Trim the locks down? I tried down. putting, uh, ounce of weight over here oh, to okay. try to counterbalance his head. Yep, yep. Nice. So if we have to, we can always stick another weight okay. right along the side here. I brought some double stick tape and cool. See this says Blaracuda. Nice. That's the Blair. The Blair. Guy. It's a Blaracuda <laughs> model insane. right there. This model is a Blaracuda. <laughs> he custom so cool. custom built it for me. Oh. He's a master at building these That's things. That's cool. Takes a lot takes a lot to get him uh souped up like this. So. Is that right? Yeah. They're extra special when you uh... He puts his little secret touch on it? Puts a, Yeah, he puts a secret touch on nice. it. Nice. Kind of indestructible. We yeah, got I was gonna say, look at that thing. Epoxy. It's all... Yeah. This guy over here, remember the Huntington Beach oil spill when the air show was supposed to happen? Oh, yeah. 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 He got oil spilled? Yeah, he got... <laughs> oh, he got yeah, blasted. Well, he was out there shredding. He huh? was out there and then like all the of a sudden... Silver surfer right there. Yeah, <laughs> and then I... I found out some other guy has that name, so uh -oh. I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that swell? The Bomba. And, um... Were guys getting pissed at you or no? No. Um, people hated him at first, but after I caught like six killer waves and he washed up and didn't break and kept running, <laughs> they're like, whoa, sweet. And some dude came up, he's like, that thing's sick, will you build one for me? I'm like, yeah, Chris Fowler. He's all Jamie O'Brien, North Shore. I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> never heard of you. I've never heard of you, but <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> You made it on Surfline from that swell, man. I think uh, Surfline ran a video of you packing a big old cylinders barrel. <laughs> he was just packing barrels on the La Bomba swell. <laughs> 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 
about to go fast. Are you gonna come out of there with this, with this one? I don't know, man. It's pretty closed out today. <laughs> you might just be getting exploded into the sand. But. <laughs> Once he falls in the water, it's hard for him to get back up. <laughs> Too much weight. Yeah, it's just ramen on his head. That was a big one. Dude, Blair Kuda's ripping. Medina, watch out, dude. He's coming for you. The guy kind of fell over, but he's gonna help me. Look at, oh, what a guy. He's flipping my guy back up. Oh, we're on. We're on. Oh! Oh, guy. <laughs> Who surfs better? Blair on a skim or the well, Blair driving the thing? Definitely Blair driving. <laughs> I've never seen one get that mangled before. <laughs> Exploded! Aliso got the best of that guy. Yeah. Aliso definitely got the best of him. Should I go reverse on the motor? But we'll get it. Should I go reverse it or no? No, no, no. It'll make it worse, you think? Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm glad, I'm glad his hair got stuck in the prop because we might have lost him. We would have lost him for sure. <laughs> he had a very quick run. We pulled, um, we pulled him into some like Quadruple overhead barrel. We'll just put the other lid on him. Oh, okay. And you can keep running. All right. Back out there. <laughs> it's a good one eight hundred. Call a barber. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be snaked by a RC surfer? I'm pretty used to it. Blair snakes me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> to be expected. What just, a cool. Just a new way to snake Paulo. Wow, I can't believe even with the epoxy on it. it have you ever seen that one happen? The ocean's very strong. It's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. you can't mess around Mother Nature. She'll show you who's in charge. Yeah. Weren't we talking about, oh, this thing's all upgraded strong. Oh, this yeah. should be good. Yo. Pull into some lead sails. <laughs> oh. Yep. At least y'all treat you different. At least. So it definitely gets you. Kai knows you got a board to the head today. Yeah, that hurt. That looked like a bummer. You're good to go. Really? Just yeah. like that? Wow. Yeah. Good to go. Turn back on. Catch a barrel. Okay, we're we're gonna do big air. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> you gotta climb it 
your score now. Claim your score. Oh, here comes a, oh, oh, a big left. Oh, he's dropping in on me, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ, Blair. Those are the balls. I was doing, doesn't like, know what he's doing. I was like, I'll use his airs, but he's like, and first one to make it out of a barrel contest. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, you get to go first. No chance, I get to go first. <laughs> Bro, he's gonna like get like 30 and, minutes, I'll get like one minute. <laughs> also, I get I get a full battery and then you get a full battery. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, right? Dude, Black can't even make it to the outside, I man. I feel like biking kind of helps it. Biking helps it? Yeah. That's why Blair's kind of bad at it. <laughs> Keep riding. No barrel, no barrel. No barrel. Dude, Blair has no idea what I know, he should just hand it over before he breaks it again. Whoa. I was too deep. Rocking a twin fin right now. I might Sand need a thruster. Paper. Yeah, sandpaper yeah. and just go. Yeah, sharper rails. We need the skimboard rails on this thing. Yeah. I actually We're don't know how it works. Might be it. Might be your turn. I know. The battery's running low. Bro, we gotta get a full battery. I know. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll, put, we'll put a fresh one in there for you. We'll put a fresh one in. Like Last one chance battery. right here. Ten, seven, six, five. Oh, we got one. He blew it. One. Then wrap it. Stand up. Oh. How is it uh, getting snaked by an RC surfer? Honestly, it doesn't even really bother me. It's such a cool thing to be out here. And I mean, I mean. Uh, Imagine how many people are gonna say they got snaked snake by like a computer or an RC surfer. <laughs> it's not like often, right? Not at all. <laughs> and everyone's having fun, so it doesn't really matter. There's ways for everyone to share. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much. I'm pretty happy with my performance. I'd say I I, uh, I got my best barrel rides in that in that heat. And I, you know I, I might not have made it out, but and I might have not been deep enough on some, but I was trimming. I was trimming in the pocket and. You know, sometimes that's all that matters. I don't know if Kai's gonna make it out of a barrel. It's pretty, it's pretty I, walled out. Come on, Kai, win this. Andre's got his money on me. <laughs> What's your strategy, Kai? It's really just beat Blair, honestly. <laughs> Wee! Oh, no. oh my God! Oh my God!
might have broken your guy on that one, dude. dude. I think oh, I, it's upside down. Oh. oh my, what are you doing? Ew. Ew. You're not even on the way, my man. <laughs> this guy, what are you doing? He's trying to doing? offer the direction. He's trying to break the guy. All right, so we're gonna let you be the judge of who won the barrel contest with RC Surfer. Kai's session was cut a little short because he got some seaweed in the prop. Yeah, but they're probably sabotaging me somehow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's you know all these unknown conditions, man, and you gotta how about, navigate how about, around them. How about the first time I used it was the heat I was in. You know, I, you did a really big air to end it. That was pretty yeah. impressive. You, you did the biggest air of the day for sure. Yeah, that was a 10 foot air. But I think uh, the barrel riding might have to, I don't know, I don't know. We'll let them be the judge. But yeah, we had some fun today. Unfortunately, we uh, exploded the Blair Cuda model first day, but we'll, he'll be back for more. He'll be back for more. That was just the beginning. Anything else you have to say, Kai? No. I think RC Server wants to say things. RC Surfing's what? Yeah. RC Server wants to talk. Oh, yeah? What does he, what does he, what does he got to say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he said I got barreled. <laughs> <laughs> he, got, he got slightly tubed today. <laughs> Thanks to our boy, Chris, who uh, built these beautiful babies. We had quite some fun with them. We'll be back. Oh, how you uh, started doing this? Um... I was doing the quadcopter drones, and then I got into um, like a little F-22 Raptor flying drone. And when I went to this little hobby shop, the lady said, hey, you might want to do the RC Surfer. And then it, I remembered some of my friends, a couple friends I had back in like 2000, they had RC Surfer. And I had completely forgot about it, so I'm like, oh, I got to do this. And I just started bringing it out to the Huntington Beer and uh, just running it as much as I could. And then I said, you know what, let's go to bigger, bigger waves. So I brought it to the wedge and then it got destroyed. So then all the parts that broke, I just decided how to just figure a way to fabricate and upgrade it. And so I constantly was just uh, tinkering with it, drilling out the the cooling system because the motor would get hot. So I said, oh, I need a bigger cooling system. And then once you do that and you're like, oh, I want it to run longer. So then you get a bigger battery and then more weight happens into it and more weight is better with it. Um, oh, more weight's better. Yes. Huh. One of my finished one weighs almost eight pounds. It's oh, heavy. Wow. It's like scary heavy. Do you actually add? I add Wait. lead into it, lead? Yeah, nice. bring some lead into the front. So yeah, I just decided to um, just keep upgrading and find better places to, to surf it. And then I saw these guys hitting this Alicia Creek and I said, you know what, let's just go down there and try it. And um, it put a beating on the boards. I learned some really weak spots. So, so now I had to upgrade them and I really enjoy doing it. Um, the best part for me is like seeing the smiles on the guys' faces when they run the RC Surfer. Like, wow, this thing's awesome! <laughs> and so that's kind of the kind of the deal for me. Nice, that's sick. Okay, let's get him ready to run. We're gonna change out the prop. Go from plastic prop to CNC aluminum prop. More dangerous to people out there, but. What isn't dangerous? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like you sit it, sit on the couch for too long, you can get a uh, heart disease. So there you go. Sitting on the couch is even dangerous. So there's no indicator to let you know how much battery life is in the battery that's in the surfer. So. It will tell, if it, if it gets really low, it'll like go and then stop, go and stop. But you don't want to get to that point and have it out there. So mm -hmm. you want to just, you, it's just kind of a, you have a, like an internal clock knowing, oh, I've been gassing it a whole lot. Um, it's probably going to be dying soon. A real critical place is the wedge. Because if you just start getting a little bit out of juice, there's a lot of current over there. And the thing will just get washed up and washed yeah, it's not fun. 
Have you ever had to go swim to get one, to retrieve one? You know what? I normally try to keep a couple dollars in my pocket and have a Grom paddle out and get it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I did offer a kid, um, he could run it if he went out and retrieved it. And so there was another, that was another option that I did. <laughs> nice. Everything's negotiable, huh? Yeah, that is great.